So maybe you wanna get some custom clothing brand designs printed just like this. I'm about to show you exactly how to reach out to a manufacturer, even if you don't have any skills, the easy and the dumb way, honestly, because you wanna get into it quickly and then you wanna learn from that and then you can advance on. But let's go ahead and dive into it. I wanna show you guys how you can get some prints done just like that because as of lately, for the brand itself, I've been getting a lot of stuff that's more manufactured because I can't really get these prints done over here in the States. Also, check out the quality of the screen print. It's pretty and crazy. And of course you can't get that super large print done here. So, you know, that's one of the reasons why we are going overseas when it comes to things like this. So by the end of this video, I'm gonna show you the easy and the dumb way to be able to get in touch with a manufacturer and how to get a piece like this done with the way that you want it to look. All right, so first and foremost, I am on Alibaba.com. The first thing I would like to do is look for the product that I would like. I'm just gonna go ahead and use this one for the example. So what I like to do is right click on it, click open, open the image and save it. So once I have it saved, I'm gonna head on over to Kittle and I'll right click on the logo and click open link a new tab because I want two Kittle windows open at the same time. So now I click on new project. Let's just go ahead and change this on over to inches. I like to make it a 300 DPI. 20 by 20 should be cool for now. Now once we have this open, click uploads and then upload the image that you just downloaded. And now I have this right here for reference. I'm actually gonna change the settings we're gonna make it a lot wider. Let's try 35. All right, so that makes it a little bit easier for me to view and have an area to work with. But eventually we'll just probably delete this or we can actually keep it. So now I'm gonna go back over here and I'm gonna see some designs that I actually like. So for the most part, I'm not gonna get too crazy with it. The design will be up to you, but I'm gonna use this to show you how easy it can be. So I'm gonna click on this one. This one has a nice amount of elements that I can separate and use. So that's why I even clicked on this one. Now what I'm going to do and so I'm going to copy all of it and now I'm going to paste it on over here. So now I'm going to click on layers and I'm going to actually add a background color so I can see my actual design. Now when it comes to the actual background color, you probably just want to make it for the color of the garment that you actually want it to be. So if you're going to use a black t-shirt, go ahead and use black. If you're going to use that same blue color shirt, use that same blue color or just something kind of similar. All right. So we can have this design right here. It could be for the back. And then of course you can change the text to whatever your brand may be. We're not going to get too creative. I just want to show you guys kind of more so the process. So now we have that right there. So this is going to be the back piece. And then we need something for that front left and uh, front right. Well, this is front left. This is front right. So now I'm just going to click on the elements that I actually want for the front. So for example, I probably like this top area. I'm going to copy and paste that. I'm going to have that right here. And then let's see here. Oh, uh, got it. So let's move this over here and this will be the other side. Maybe I like this piece too. So for example, this is going to be my front right piece right here, which is going to say after hours this is going to be my front left right here. And then this is going to be my full back. All right. So now I'm going to click on elements. I'm just going to type an arrow. So we're going to look for an arrow that's fairly thin. Let's see. We can have Maybe this one right here. Then we can bring this one over here. Now we can copy and paste it one more time. And then this is the full back. So with the arrows itself, it is a fairly decent enough explanation so that your manufacturer understands what's going on. But if you really want, you can also type in some text as well. So you can go ahead and identify it as well. So like right here, you can go ahead and type in, this is for the back print. So now you have this right here. All you have to do is click export and then you can download the design and download this one as an actual JPEG for reference. And now we're gonna make a separate file, which would be our actual design. So we're gonna go ahead and go back over here and then I'm gonna shorten this to about 13 inches. Hit confirm. And then now what we do is remove the background, delete this, and then we save this file right here. Let's download design and save it as a SVG. And then we're gonna click undo. Do the same thing right here. And then this is the full back print. Hit export and then also download this one as a SVG. 
Also, if you are interested, uh, Kiddo does now have print your own design on here, so you can go ahead and get printed on a t-shirt if you really wanted to, if you just wanted to get it done on the t-shirt real quick. But anyways, now we have our reference photo, and then we also have our design files to send over to our manufacturer. Also, if you really do want to see a mock-up, you can just open this up in Adobe Photoshop, go ahead and select your object, right-click Content Aware, and as you can see, it pretty much already removed it, hit OK. And then you can pretty much put your image on top of there, but you know, and if I want that specific jacket and I want to use this one, then this is pretty much okay to do. So let me go ahead and do this. But it's not always that ideal as you can see like the blue block on top of the jacket did not look too good so sometimes if i just want a photo that i can use for reference i'll just go on google and look for some images that i'm really not going to use anyways i'm just using it internally so you know i have this actual zip up shirt that looks the same i'll just copy and paste my design over so i can get an idea of what it looked like obviously i just did it in photoshop because i already have photoshop open because i was showing you about content aware but if all you had was kittle you could just go ahead and copy and paste it on over to kittle as well and just pretty much do the same thing that we did the first time so now we have this right here we're gonna right click this send it to back and then so i'm gonna copy this we'll scale this out and then let's right click it first bring it to the front and then as you can see we already have an idea of what it looks like directly on kiddo we can save this image as well anyways we have our design files and we also have our reference image and now all we have to do is head on over to alibaba.com go to the product that we are looking for. And now all you have to do is click contact supplier and send them those images and they will get back to you with some pricing. So now once you reach out to the supplier, you send them your images and then you pretty much ask them for a price. Of course, the higher amount you order, the better price you're gonna get. For most of you guys who are starting off, you probably want a low amount. For myself, this is a new cloning brand, so I only want 50 pieces. Most manufacturers that I've come across usually goes 50 pieces at the lowest. Sometimes you may see some even lower, but right here they're letting me know that it's $22 and 20 cents each and that does not include shipping and so now i'm asking for a price of a sample which ends up being 80 dollars each and then shipping on top of it so then i go ahead and move forward with the sample now when it comes to getting a sample done i highly recommend getting two sizes done your typical size and one size up or one size smaller that way you know whenever something does not fit your size when you get one single sample you really don't have anything to compare it with to see the actual sizing itself now this is a quick way of getting started if you want to be more specific you're going to want to upload a tech pack you're going to want to measure it out send the measurements of your actual design print of your actual garment whatever the specific sizes you need for a lot of different things the color itself the sleeve and even you know you got to be specific to the colors itself because with pantones is how you get specific colors however whenever you get all of this information across it becomes really overwhelming and you don't even know where to start if you get one custom piece to start off with your confidence is a whole lot higher and then it's easier for you to nitpick the things that you want to get fixed after it has arrived one other tip that i would recommend when it comes to size charts go buy a similar product of what you're looking for on a popular website such as nike.com if you head on over there and you see a jacket that you like go ahead and order it and if it fits well just go copy their size chart on their website and send it over to your manufacturer it wasn't until i received this actual garment itself is whenever i felt the need that i needed to see if it was correct or not it can get really overwhelming if you tried to make it perfect to begin with so when i received it i needed to go check the weight so i went over to superline wholesale with my homie e because he knows how to do that stuff so how do we go about doing that the weight is going to be measured by gsm and the best way to do it is you're going to have to cut it out a piece of fabric and then you're going to have to weigh it out so this is the machine that we use to cut the fabric so what's the gsm supposed to be on this 240 Two, uh 240 mm -hmm. so let's cut it out uh first thing you want to do is you want to make sure you get a flat piece of fabric and make sure you're not cutting out something that has the print because obviously the print will change the weight as well too. So once you get a nice flat piece, you wanna take this cutter and you wanna lock it in, right? And once it's locked in, you wanna start cutting. And then you're gonna get this little piece right here, right? And what you wanna do is you wanna take it over to the scale. And what do I always tell you guys? You gotta weigh the work. All right, so it's supposed to be 240 GSM. Let's see if Rich, Rich needs compensation or if he needs to you know, pay a little extra for this. So boom, you're looking at 270. So they actually gave you 30 grams extra and I always love that. So 
You don't need to be compensated. You might have to pay a little extra. So yeah, have you had problems in the past? If it's like less than the GSMs that you were supposed to be provided, like what'd you do? So normally with shirts, you're not gonna really, they're not really gonna skip you on the GSMs as much, more, more so on the fleece, um, because whenever you have a discrepancy on the fleece, the price will change a lot. So one time I ordered a 400 GSM and then they gave it to me, it was only 350 GSM. So the best way that I go about it is I don't want to, I don't really want a penny pinch and I don't really want to be that kind of guy that's like really like I, I don't know how to say it in ego but it's just like squeezing the shit out of the factories so the, what i did is i said hey look you shorted me 50 grams out of 400 let me take that ratio and deduct my price that same ratio so that way it's fair um and again whenever you're working with these factories as long as they know that you know what you're doing chances are they're not gonna really finesse you as much do you feel like they'll try to make a sample look more perfect and then the bulk order you had a even bigger issue oh for sure um, usually whenever they do samples, the samples will come out literally like perfect. Like this is a really good quality garment, you know what I'm saying? But once they go into bulk production, that's when they start cutting corners. And again, like I said, as long as they know, you know what you're doing, chances are they're going to finesse you a little less. And when you show them stuff like this, they're going to be like, bro, I can't really play this guy. And I can't try this guy because he knows what he's doing. If you guys want to uh, find good blanks, if you guys want to find good free game, you can check us out at Superline Wholesale. For the most part, I like the shirt, but those things I didn't know I needed to be specific about until I got it. For example, this right here, I did not like the way this looks from the outside or the custom neck tag. So I told them to fix it and put it right here. And then I didn't like the fact that it didn't have double stitching on the sleeve. And then there's one other thing that it really takes a designer's eye to realize that they did mess up on resizing the print. So as you can see right here, this is the normal size. And then if you go ahead and put this side by side with this one, this is a really rookie mistake right here. It's hard to tell right here, but whenever they resize it, you know, they didn't hold that shift button or in Photoshop not hold the shift button. Whenever they resize it, it's a little bit constrained. So it's not a perfect resize in proportion. But honestly, everything else about the garment, I actually liked it. If I was going to sit here and be picky from the very beginning, it would have been hard for me to communicate and get the actual product done. If this video helped you out, comment, like, subscribe. Let me know if it did and I can make more videos just like this.